honestly, we're not super far away from playing this thing. All right, what episode are we on? Nine? Yeah, I think nine. We should take a poll on how many of this is gonna take. I don't really know. Okay, we gotta get this neck. Let's get this neck to 96.7% done in this one. Bolted in the guitar, set up, angle's good, everything dialed. Here we go. So here's where I'm at. I did some work back here to get it to fit flush against the bottom of here and the flush against the top. Shave this thing down so you can get it out when the back is on. It was too tall before and it wouldn't tilt down enough with the back on to get out. I think National, they just go straight across with this thing. I wanted to leave it a little bit bigger so that I could screw the end pin in, you know, from the back into a bigger area here. That way, I've got room to get that in, to get it right in the middle and still hit this thing nice and a, and a solid amount for that thing to bolt into. So if you do wear a strap with this heavy thing, uh, it won't pull, just pull out of there. One thing that um, I've seen Mule and, and some of the other guys do is they put a shim here to adjust the angle of the neck. Hoping I don't need the shim, although I'm not really, I don't mind if I do need it. But I think I've got it set up pretty well right now that I'm not going to need it. I've made a little ridge here for where the top, where this thing meets the top. So this is all a little bit lower now. So this is totally flush with the top. So that'll look real nice from the side. Getting closer on the fitment here. As far as how it um, lines up, matches up with the body, there's still some work to do there. Thing is, I don't need to go too far on that because, you know, these, these sides still need to get tapered. This heel still needs to get shaped and it's probably going to... Anyway, there's a lot to do there. So I just wanted to get pretty close at this point. And that's where I am right now with that. I'm just pretty close. What else? I think next thing I'm going to do right now is come up with a jig to do the truss rod slot. On the next neck, I think what I want to do is this center piece, I want to make it the exact thickness of the carbon fiber rod. I can just put that notch right in that piece so that when I glue all this up, I can even put the carbon fiber rod in there on the glue. It'd be quicker, it'd be easy to get accurate. Well, that's my simple jig for doing the truss rod slot. I have a exactly two millimeter router bit, which is the thickness of my carbon fiber rod. Did I just call it a truss rod? Anyway. Uh, this little jig follows the center line perfectly. It stops right there, perfect the spot. And I've marked on here where I need to stop. So I did put some tape on the sides just to firm it up. You can tell it's, it fits pretty tight. See how it, it moves the next. Here we go. Let's make a slot for the carbon fiber rod. All right, I was just getting the router base attached to the router. And my Stumac box arrived, which has my carbon rod in it. And my tuners. Kind of a vintage look vintage feel. Uh, those are going to look good. Okay, made a first little baby pass here and things are looking great. Okay, I don't feel like that could have gone any better, really. I had to really pound it in there. It's in there really tight. I mean, really tight. It's it's in there. I think I'll get flooded with super glue at some point, but not right now. Okay, what's next? I think we, let's taper the sides.
Okay, taper's done, it's perfect. Now I think I wanna clean up this little area and start to make this thing look kinda cool. And then I'll see what I decide after that. Here we go. Okay, the peg head's already starting to look a little better. I think I'm gonna like how that's gonna turn out once it's all cleaned up and done neatly. Okay, I got it mocked up here for a second cause I just wanna check my scale length. I set it all up for 25 inch scale length and so that should be what it is. Let's just find out if it really is or not. Okay, things are going well. Centered on the dot there. Come down here and we're at 25 inch. Uh, what's next? Oh, let's get this fretboard marked out and trimmed off and get it slotted first, radius first. Probably slotted first, then I'll radius it. I'll do it one of those two ways. I'll either radius it first and then slot it or I'll slot it first and then radius. Let's do all those things that I just said I was going to do, whatever that was. I got the downdraft table running today because, man, I hate breathing ebony. And I didn't film tapering it all down and scraping it and sanding it. You're welcome. Oh, I think I'm going to put a really thin white stripe underneath it. I don't know. I'll have to see how that looks first before I do it, but look for that. ever decide to just leave a fret or two off and have a shorter fretboard so you don't have to cut another slot yeah me either okay here we go count at least four or five times before I do this. I mean, I've heard that you can screw up counting to 19. I don't know how somebody could do that, but people tell me. I have no experience with that whatsoever. Okay, this is coming along swimmingly. I've got all those ones in there, and then I didn't put those ones in there because that's where it gets screwed to the body. Now, I've never screwed a fretboard to a body before, so this will be something new for me. Right now, it's time to radius this thing, and once we radius it, we can... I don't know, we'll do whatever we have to do after we radius it. Okay, that's ready to go on to the neck, I think. Sanded to 400 and steel wooled. Still waiting on those. Don't know what I'm gonna do there yet, but it's ready to go on the neck. Let's do that. think we're about ready to carve the guitar. I did end up putting that little white stripe, which I think is a nice touch. Um, it ends right there at where the body and the fretboard. I gotta make a little wedge right back here. That's very minor to keep everything good there and I'll glue the wedge right to the fretboard. And then we can drill those holes and we can start figuring out how that mounts. But I think before I do all that, I wanna carve the neck. So that's what's next.
Okay, there's the initial rough carve right after, just with that rasp thing. That just gives me a nice rough shape. That doesn't take me very long. That only took me a few minutes to get to that rough shape with whatever this thing's called. I don't know what this tool's called. I've been using it for a long time. In fact, I need a new blade for it. This one's dull. Anyway, whatever that thing's called is my go-to. I know people use spoke shaves and you know all that, and I have spoke shaves and stuff, but I don't know, I get really good results really quickly with that thing, so that's what I do. Now it's just gonna be a whole lot of fine tuning. It's a bit thick still. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a little while and just go at this thing hard. This is just a slow, long process. Like, I've made so many necks in my day that I forget. I guess I just don't realize. They're just a lot of work. The heel has got some work to do still, and it's gonna get a, it's gonna get a cap on here with a white stripe kind of like this. I'm probably gonna do an ebony cap, an ebony cap on it with a white, that thin white in there on the heel right there. Um, it's coming along. Obviously, it needs still a little work, but I'm calling that that's more than roughed in. That's darn near really close. I'm going to call it 92.6%. Making some progress. Just slow going with this neck though. Okay, let's make these little string things that go, you know, here. And then clean up the insides of this uh, pig head slots. They're all looking ratty. In certain light, those two grooves match really, really well. Or was that low light? Maybe it was low light. Maybe it was no light. They're not. They need work. Man, everything I do needs work. Okay, let's do work. Okay, I'm happier with them now. I'm going to call those 97.7%. Okay, those are all laid out on there. They match from one side to the next. Got the little center punch marks in it. Ready to go. Ready to get a whole bunch of tear out on the back side of this side when I drill through it. That sounds great. No, definitely not. Well, hindsight being 20, 50 or whatever it is, I should have drilled those holes first before I slotted the peg head, but you know, I forgot. Yeah, we're good. Happy with that. Actually, that looks really cool. I'm glad I got those in there. That's awesome. Okay, here's the progress. This is where we're at. We got tuners in now, which I'm really happy about. Those look really cool too. I really like those tuners. I think they look really, really sharp on there. It's going to be a nice contrast. This neck is going to look amazing when it gets some finish on it. 
Um, fretboard's already looking really good. Potty's still looking good. I stuck the cone in there. Fit on the neck isn't perfect yet, but I keep getting closer and closer. Each time I do a little bit to it and I get a little closer. Nice to have this neck carved. The neck is pretty much, it's just about done. Really all we gotta do is put the frets in. Once we drill the holes in the body, we can put the dot markers in or screw it in and then we can put the dot markers in there and then we can fret it and finish it up. This thing's gonna come together pretty quick. I imagine this next episode, we might even get some strings on it. I don't know. We'll see. Well, hopefully that episode didn't bore you guys too much. It was just all neck all the time. That neck has a lot going on, a lot of little things to fix up and get it done. I wasn't sure if this one was gonna come out good enough that it wasn't gonna be a relic, but I'm feeling pretty good about it now that it doesn't have to be a relic. I think it can be pretty pristine and let it relic on its own. I set this brass plate on there for now. Just uh, just for grins. I don't like the brass on there at all, but um, I'll probably end up doing something different there. Yeah, I might even try and make one of those. It looks like that might be kind of fun, try and make one of those brass covers. Not a brass one. I, I might make a one out of this matching steel so it, it all matches together. All right, that's it. Let's get out of here. I'll do some more work on this thing, and uh, yeah, let's play it next time. Thanks for watching.